Hi all, hope you are all are doing good. From today onwards, we are going to see a lecture series on the subject design and analysis of algorithm. Please note down the course code. Does 19 ITB to not one B represents Blender, so it is a blended course. So first unit is introduction to algorithms. The second topic in DAA is fundamentals of algorithmic problem solving so please note down the diagram carefully the first step in the algorithmic problem solving is understand the problem so first we have to understand the problem next the step two is decide on computational means exact versus approximate problem solving algorithm design technique so the third one is design and algorithm third so fourth one is prove the correctness fifth one is analyze the algorithm the last one is code the algorithm so we'll get to know about each and every step in detail in the upcoming video so first step understanding the problem we have to under the understand the problem in a proper way so what is the problem what are the doubts in the problem so what are the previous examples we have and what are the use cases so the input to the this step is instance of the problem second step ascertaining the capabilities of a computational device so we have computational device which can perform operations in a sequential manner and parallel manner sequential means we have to execute an instruction after an instruction for example uh, if we have 10 lines of code the first line will be executed first and after the completion of the first line then we have to perform the second instruction in sequential algorithm next in parallel algorithm will be executing instructions parallelly that means more than one at a time so based on that will be selecting whether we have to operate on sequential or parallel algorithm next parameters speed and memory of the computer system this depends upon the application type next choosing between the exact and problem solving uh, problem solving so for example if we have two uh, problems for example one is calculating the GCD of a number and the next one is calculating the square root of the uh, non-perfect number okay for GCD we have to get a, a perfect number which means we have to get the exact solution so we'll be using the exact algorithm for that for that in case calculating the square root of a number just if we uh, if we get a answer in a point for example 3.142222 for example in that case we'll be rounding off the answer so in that type of problems we are going to approximate the solution so based on that we'll be choosing between the exact algorithm or approximation algorithm the third fourth step is deciding on appropriate data structure next we have to choose the appropriate data structure based on the problem so next one algorithm design techniques so we have to choose the methods or process to solve a problem for example linear programming or binary search so we'll be having several design techniques so these are the common example to solve a, a problem okay what do you mean by linear programming will be processing it in a one word direction for next binary search in binary search will be dividing the problem into sub problems and will be processing so the sixth step more methods to specifying an algorithm so we'll have we'll be having three methods to specify an algorithm one is natural language which is understandable by the human beings easily the second step is pseudocode so it is a combination of natural language plus programming constructs the third one is flowchart 
so next one proving an algorithm's correctness correctness is nothing but whether it works well and good for all the inputs and does not crash on giving the proper inputs the next step is analyzing an algorithm so at last we have to analyze whether our program or algorithm is time efficient space efficient it is simple and general so time efficiency means uh, it, it is related to the time complexity what is the time it takes to complete the execution of the whole program the space efficiency it, it is related to the space complexity the space occupied by the program in the memory so third one it must be simpler that is easier to understand and program fourth one is generality next coding an algorithm at last after following these steps in a perfect manner then only we have to code the algorithm